Uh, my name is Jake Barnett. I'm just going to kind of run you through the plan for our evening tonight. Uh, so the film is just over two hours long. Uh, the vast majority of it was shot here in Fort Worth. So if you're local to the area, keep your eyes peeled uh, for some familiar scenery and locations. Um, the film, of course, is going to have art, it's going to have jokes, it's going to have action, and it's going to keep you on the edge of your seat, so be ready. Um, after the credits roll, we will be having an after party at the Hampton Harper Hotel. That's going to be four blocks away. It's uh, 714 Main Street is the address, 714 Main Street. Um, so there we'll have a cash bar, we'll have food, we'll have lots of photo opportunities with the cast and crew, so you can get to know them, ask them any questions about the film. We will also have Richard and Amber there. Uh, so if you want to speak to them, let's just all make sure, clear out of the theater, head over to the hotel for the after party, you could be joining us. Uh, so now I'd like to go ahead and welcome uh, my friend, the writer and director of the actor, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Blake. <laughs> Hey, give a quick hand for Jake. It's hard to rally people and get them to come. Great host, man. Appreciate you. Awesome. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'll keep this real quick so we can just keep rolling uh, and we can have fun and uh, no Q&A, no talk back or anything. Um, just like you said, I reiterate when the credits roll, support each other and clap and then after that you're free to dismiss yourself and go right to the after party. Okay? Uh, I love the Lord. I believe that we are all God's children, and uh, it is said that imitation is the highest form of flattery. If that's true, then I believe creativity is the highest form of praise. And uh, creativity could be teaching an eighth grade science class, could be renovating a house, it could be uh, writing and producing 14 chart-topping albums, uh, you know, whatever it is. But um, the, uh, the janitor who mops the floor is not righteous because he wears a cross around his neck, or he sings a hymn, I believe it's because God loves clean floors. So uh, <laughs> if you're here tonight, wherever you are on your journey, I just want to encourage you to do your very best. Um, that's all that's required of you. The rest will take care of itself. Um, that's, that's what I've done all along, and you know, I'm standing here, so I'll take it. Um, speaking of my best, my wife, Amber, is here. She's beautiful. <laughs> I just want to say uh, thank you for, uh, hi, you're beautiful. Um, thank you for uh, putting up with me and my craziness and my insecurities and all that crazy stuff artists got to go through. And uh, everyone, uh, our company is called Amber Rock Productions. People always say, oh, it's so cool that you know Amber is your name, your company, but really she's a rock. So, <laughs> I'm crushing these transitions right now because I just realized, speaking of rock, Mr. Ed Rowland from Collective Soul is in the house tonight. <laughs> and thank you, man, uh, for you to be here is such an honor. Uh, I am so humbled. Uh, I wasn't prepared for this part, so um, definitely a little nervous. But you know, you got to call me presents, bro. I feel I feel, feel pretty dialed in. So um, I'm just so thankful. That I think maybe I knew it, you know, like for 20 years or something. Um, just because Ed's here, I just want to share two real quick things about Collective Soul in this movie. Uh, one, when I was 17 years old, I lived in a small town in Wisconsin, and I ran a TV station, and I made a movie. Uh, I made tons of movies, but I made a movie, uh, and I used Collective Soul as the entire soundtrack. We're talking like Blender album, Greatest Hits album. I, I, I did it for real, and it was, it, was, it was really fun. It played on TV. It was amazing. And it's called Love Undercover. It's on YouTube. If you want to laugh your head off, you can watch, and you can see that my, uh, my love for the band is very real. Um, but a really fun story that I thought of, and I called my buddy today. My best friend growing up, I told him, hey, man. All these movies have soundtrack. Wouldn't it be cool if, like, just one band was a soundtrack of a movie? Like, it's like the theme. I was like, I'm gonna do that with Collective Soul one day. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna go to Hollywood and I'm gonna do it. And he said, Oh yeah, man. And I'm gonna have Pearl Jam come play my birthday party. And uh, I was like, All right. Well, so today I called him and uh, I said, Hey, man, you better get in touch with Pearl Jam because uh, Collective Soul is the soundtrack of this movie. So um, it was a pretty fun conversation for me. Uh, so thank you for being here, man. Um, also, there's 18 Collective Soul Easter eggs 
woven within this film. So if you are a fan, see if they stand out to you. Lyrics, album covers, uh, uh, posters, logos, they're, they're not really part of the movie, but they're just in there for fans, and it's been really fun to see people engage, and I think we're gonna do a little contest for that, so see if you can grab a couple, because some of them are on your face, some of them are buried. Um, that's pretty cool. Collective Soul has a brand new album coming out, which my hand that to me real quick. This apparently is the very first one that Ed brought for me as a gift. <laughs> so this is a double album. It comes out May 17th. It's called Here to Eternity. And they recorded this in Elvis Presley's house in Palm Springs, where he recorded three of his uh, last gospel records, I believe. Um, so if that you know, is it one of the coolest things you ever heard? And I don't know what kind of music you're listening to, but um, that that is just uh, really astonishing. Also, I know Collective Soul is coming through Dallas May 30th. So Jason Jones, summer, uh, dude, save the day, buddy. We're going to see Collective Soul. So uh, and you guys should go see it too. So go get this album, support them. Uh, they're amazing. You won't be disappointed. Uh, a rock star in his own right is here tonight. Academy Award winner, Les Selin. And his wife Barbara are right here. They are the executive producers of this film. And uh, my man, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for believing in me, and uh, thank you for taking a shot with me. And most of all, both of you, thank you for your friendship. Uh, that friendship comes first, and all the rest of this is just a byproduct. So um, I really, really appreciate it, guys. Uh, Major Dodge is here, Marty, buddy. There he is. Major Don is the producer on the film. Also, uh, I believe, I, I didn't really tell him this, but I believe Major had probably the most complicated role to play. Um, and uh, you did a, an excellent job balancing that man, and you, and you uh, thank you for bringing what was on the page and bringing something dynamic to it. Thank you for producing it. Uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that, but make sure you uh, go up and you'll, you'll, you'll get the sense of what I'm talking about. And then, um, Last but certainly not least, my parents are here. Where's Jack and Tony? Yay! <laughs> and my parents number two are here. Where's Frank and Cynthia? Oh, yeah, they're there. Sweet. Uh, I love you guys. Uh, parents number one, thank you for uh, letting me run around your house as a little kid with a camera and filming everything. And, uh, parents number two, thank you for letting me run around your house as an adult and uh, <laughs> filming everything. Um, some things never change. It's pretty much just what I'm going to do the rest of my life. So, uh, you know, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys have had a great time so far. Um, I hope you enjoy the film. And uh, I'll see you at the after party, okay? In the words of Collective Soul, welcome all my friends. Yeah.